it's Pamela from Gypsy Girl Crafts and today I am going to go through my process of altered playing cards and how I create them. I've had several requests for a more in-depth tutorial and the most recent one was from Colette of Country Creations. Hi Colette. So um, in preface I am recording after the fact because I went last night to upload and edit everything and I lost a whole portion of my um, process. So I had to redo a few cards so that I could pick up from where I left off. So that's where if when you see the different colored set of cards, that's where um, things kind of went askew. So we're going to start from that point, if that makes sense. Okay, so to make the video a little bit shorter, I am going to show the beginning of a process and then I will cut to the end of that portion and then start the next portion because I want to try and get this whole thing into one video. The first thing I do is I take my playing cards and I take a sanding block. This just happens to be a manicure sanding block. And I just, okay. so I just take it and go over it a couple of times up and down and flip sides so that it takes some of that plasticky cover off and it gives the card a little bit of um, less slick and more grit to hold on to the glue. And then I glue them down to this craft paper or whatever paper I am going to back the cards with and make sure that it's dry. I do use a brayer to kind of make sure those edges go down. The next thing I do is I take gesso and I go over the cards just a little bit so that they will accept the paint or um, stain or whatever I'm gonna do to them. So we are ready for the next step. I've been thinking about doing some fairy cards. Let's grab some paint. I am thinking some pink, light green, and lavender. How does that sound? I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this pink one because it is thick. And oh, I am just going to go. Hither and yonder. There's no, I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just trying to get some paint on, on the cards. And if you get too much, you can just take your wipe. That too has a little bit too much. You can just take a wipe and wipe it off. Let's do a touch of lavender. And it's kind of more dry brushing because you don't want you don't want it to be sloppy wet so what do you think see I don't you know I'm not an expert on this because this is all new to me I am just playing so I you know literally have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing <laughs> And so, if you're a professional painter, you know, turn away now because you're probably horrified. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to take some green. And I have this little feather brush. And so I just want to kind of wisp it on. So I'm just going over it super light. Kind of want to make sure that you get enough of the colors so that if you put something in the center, you've got color around the edges, right? I'm thinking it needs a little blue. What do you gay gals think? A little blue green or something? Let's try this. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. It just looks a little bit too babyish to me right now, so I want it to be more fairy.
Okay, what I'm going to do now is take white paint and I am going to water this down just a titch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to splatter white paint on here and that's why I want it a little bit thinner. And so I'm just going to hold it above and just hit the brush and get white paint spots on here. Okay. That is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut these all out. And that is boring, so I will be back when I have finished cutting. So we now have these cards that we have painted and splattered. And so I want to add another dimension to my cards. So what I'm going to do is take um, some of my Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to, let's do purple, purple and pink. And it would work better if I had one of those glass mats. It's on my crafty list of things to buy. But let's just do this. And I'm just gonna give them a spray of water. And then I'm gonna take my cards and take the face of it and I'm just gonna randomly dip it and see the effect that you get. You get another dimension in there. And you don't have to do the whole card. And you don't have to use both colors. If you can get it to run, sometimes that gives an interesting effect. Well, yeah, my next step that I do is I get out my black ink. Oops. And I'm going to stamp these really randomly. And the way I do it, and it, it works better, I think, at least for me, if I have more than six cards. But what I do is I just kind of overlap them. I don't want them to be, um, you know, I don't want the stamping to be perfect. And I want it to kind of overlap so that it doesn't look planned. I'm using this big flourish kind of paisley stamp I have and just gonna stamp random and so you get this kind of effect and then what I do is I kind of shuffle them again so that they are gonna get a second pass with the stamp. Let me see, I'll use a different part of the stamp this time. I think you particularly want to have things on the edges because then if you put things on top, then you um, are obviously covering up your entire stamp, but you just want a piece of it peeking through. You don't want, maybe, well maybe you want this whole thing to just, you know, be done right here and this is your set of cards and you're good to go. But, um, so it works really well if you're using more than one stamp as well. So you kind of shuffle them all out, just lay them all out and use one stamp and then gather them together, put them back out, use another stamp, and so forth. And then you get, like I said, a really random pattern and a, an interesting look. I wanted these to be glittery, glimmery, because to me, we were making fairy cards. Glimmery. So I'm using some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and it's very old, I've had it for a long, long time. And I'm just going to give it a shot of Glimmer Mist. And then you can see sometimes that makes the paint run a little bit. And it gives it another interesting effect. So it's all about layering. But there are our six cards. Okay, and we shall be back. So, now we have this. We're left with these. And I love them. I think they turned out great. So, um, what I'll do now is get out 
images of fairies doing to the fronts, fronts of these cards to make them officially fairy. And I spared you the boring part of all my um, gluing. I have a bunch of fairy images that I had fussy cut. So I distressed around the edges and then I glued them down with just a glue stick. And then I placed them on my, you know, book pages. When I do things, I ink or do things like this, I place it on the book page and I just went around the edges with this 18 karat gold leafing pen. And so that's the stage we're at. And I do save these pages because they make great, um, great collage pages. So when I'm, when it gets a little goobered up like that, I just, um, rip it off and put it in my bin, my collage bin, and start with a new one. So this is where we are now. I think what I'm gonna do now is use some of my Nouveau and um, some of my stickles, and I'm going to go and highlight certain areas of each card, and again, you're not going to want to watch this whole thing, so I'm just going to do one and kind of show you my process for this and draw your attention to some of the details in the image. So I think that's it for this one. And you can see she's got some glitter. But that that is basically all I'm going to do. And it really didn't take that long to glue the images on. I just didn't, like I said, didn't think you would want to sit and watch me glue. How boring is that? But that is the end of my process for this particular set of cards. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I hope you like them. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try them out. And say, hey, come on over and look at my altered playing cards that you've made. Because I would love to see what you've done. You can also highlight some of the, the stamping if you'd like. And you could also do some embossing with embossing ink and give it a little more interest that way. I may try that on a few of the cards, so if I do, I'll let you know when I finish them all. I'm going to do a video on the complete set. But anyway, thanks for coming along and for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi. Okay, so now we're back with the finished product on the cards. So I did a lot of um, stickles and... You know, same kind of thing, Nouveau drops. And I did do some embossing of butterflies on each one of them. And I just love how they turned out. So I have a couple that are the same, but most of them are different. So here's this one. And you can see the stickles. And just how they turned out. They're just darling. I really like them. I may add little pieces of lace or something to them when I am ready to use them in a book or I might put a hole in it and use a, um, a rivet or, a, or something, you know. They're just, they just turned out really cute. So I think I've got the altered playing cards out of my system for a while and I have a bunch of other things that I really want to work on but I did want to do this tutorial for those who are interested in trying it and seeing what they can come up with and I'm interested to see what you come up with as well so I hope that was helpful for you thanks again for subscribing and for watching my videos and commenting and I will see you soon with a new project thanks bye bye